Hello race fans and welcome to One Hub Racing Season 19 points tier for round number 7 for the British Grand Prix here in Silverstone. The start of F1 essentially. And joined with me in the commentary box once again is Risky Racer or Sullivan Lewis as his formal name is. Hello Sullivan. <laughs> Good evening. Um, yeah, welcome back to one hub for probably one of the more iconic tracks of the calendar silverstone home race for quite a lot of our drivers and uh, maybe some weather thrown in there as well yeah it could be extra spicy just a quick shout out to our sponsors this season next level racing who are sponsoring the league by providing an nr nr nlr direct drive stand to our driver of the season which is a brand new award We've got 3M Sim Racing, who sponsors the league by providing a pair of their sim racing gloves to the driver with the most combined poles and fastest laps. And also partnered with Vespertine and ERT with their partner for going gets tough. Oh, Silverstone's going to be an interesting. Now, you can never tell what the weather is going to be like. Yeah, it could, uh, it could just be wet for five minutes dry for the next so we're gonna find out when we eventually get underway 17 drivers in the lobby so far yeah hopefully a full grid last week we had the uh belgian grand prix which was actually quite interesting all the way through to the end as it tends to happen around here in points. So last week, uh, Aaron got his third win, I believe, of the season around Belgium in the Mercedes. Second was his, for his first podium this season. It was Liam in the Alpine. And Speed Quinn finally got on the podium again after his victory in Hungary. He scored 14 points in third place. Uh, and OZ MCFC finished fourth with Gazaman only finishing fifth. So the gap between Gazaman and Aaron in the championship has significantly increased uh, due to the finishing positions last week. Colin got a Mercedes top six in sixth with the second Red Bull scoring decent points for them. Trunders in seventh. A Sully in the Ferrari scored some points in fifth with Mason in the points yet again in ninth and our tenth and final driver who actually finished that race was giggle the only has on three points everyone else did not finish with liam getting driver of the day and fastest lap with aaron securing pole position as well yeah so it sounded like a bit of a uh, exciting race last week that i met unfortunately missed due to oh yeah new working hours but um i'm oh, back I'm this week forgot. <laughs> back this week let's see if we get just as an exciting uh, exciting one yeah it should be a good one there's only three uh three rounds after this left so we're starting to get into that after the midpoint of the season and only so many races left for drivers to win and it looks like aaron is already putting one hand on the trophy driver's title trophy because the gap is very significant let's have a look at the standings drivers and constructors going into round seven we can see that aaron is 31 points clear now of gazaman in p1 in the mercedes one hub racing premium driver so gazaman 73 points to the 104 of aaron and colin now is one point behind gazaman after staying, finishing uh, exactly behind him last week. So it's a really close battle for second. Rage Man, unfortunately, after his really good run of form, did not finish last week in Belgium. Uh, but he sits fourth in the standings, 56. Point, 16 points behind Colin. is one point behind Gazaman. Speed Quinn, with his podium last week, is in fifth. And looking to try and fight back towards getting... A top three this season strong start hasn't been the comfiest of rides for him this season 
and he sits fifth ahead of Liam after securing his first podium. He's promoted to sixth in the Alpine. Giggle uh, now in seventh on 29 points with Lawrence in the Alpha Tauri, one of racing premium driver in eighth on 24. MCFC is on 22 points in ninth, leading Alfa Romeo driver. Jake Combs is in 10th on 20. So that's both Alpines inside the top 10, along with both Mercedes and both Haas. Trunders is just shy of the top 10 by finishing position. He is on 20 points as well as Jake in the second Red Bull in 11th. O'Sully, after securing some points, is 12th on 19 points. One point ahead of Mason Jr., who also scored points last week. He's on 18. Hooky, the second McLaren to Mason, is also on 18 points. So the McLarens, even Stevens at the moment. ERT driver Jacko is on 15 points in the Aston Martin. IO Neon, after his good uh, finish in Singapore... Couldn't uh, complete the double points finish in Belgium. He's in 16th on 10 points. Speedway in the other Ferrari is on 6. Nuke driver Yuri uh, had a bad week last race. Didn't finish after a superb drive in Singapore in his debut. He's on 6. Kingjun is on 4. One of racing premium driver for Williams. And Goodlip is at the bottom, yet to score a point in the, sis, in the second Aston Martin. I think I've dribbled on a bit too much there. <laughs> but yeah, well, you've got to we get move. the standings, standings done before qualifying starts. And uh, before we get into qualifying, we'll have a little bit of a uh, look at the hot and cold. And this week, our hot driver is a Gazaman with the following outside of the championship leader... One could argue he's the most consistent driver and was on for a better result until the game had issues last week. So, obviously, he was reinstated into P5 after disconnecting, I believe, but the game disqualified him at the end. Yeah. Could arguably be close in the title fight, but it's isn't ever one to give up. Uh, second in the standings. Has to be careful he doesn't get pipped second in the standings if he can't make first his own. And then our cold driver, unfortunately, once again, is King Jun or King and... 79 it's surprising last season's prospect champion is still struggling this much which obviously unfortunately for him hasn't had the best of luck it is a new game i suppose i think he is learning no assists still so he is trying to do uh, this week we have a freezing which is the game itself because the amount of bugs and glitches this game has so far is it's not exactly um perfect but then again when do we ever get a perfect codemasters game in terms of qualifying Weather looks a bit overcast, but dry tyres are on, so looking at a relatively dry qualifying. I shall have a look at the TAS dashboard to see what before, we're Before saying. you do that, Miski, just a quick one. You get, we're getting a little bit of interference through your headphones. I don't know whether that's Roger. a jack or... It's just when you speak, there's a little buzz. So I just thought I'd bring that up now, just in case... It becomes irritating later on for anyone who's actually listening in and watching. Not Risky's fault, but we've got to get these techna technicalities out of the way as quickly as possible. Yeah, my mic is never great. I think it should be fine. I could try something in the settings. Should be fine now, hopefully. Oh no, that's not fine. So on board. Oh, <laughs> so on board with Speed Quinn, who's out on the mediums at the moment. A confirmation in the chat that is going to that it is going to be dry throughout. That's not like a British summer weather vibe usually, but we'll go with it. But it does look cloudy, and Quinn will be our first driver to start a lap. Medium tyres, as I said. And if Risky is there, hopefully he is. Could take us to a lap unless he's still yeah, fixing. He's here. Is a, yeah, go for fixed. it. Take it's us to a lap with Quinn. So, through turn one then. Uh, go straight into turn two. Pretty flat through there. And then you break towards three and four. I'm not very good with corner names, so uh, I just go for numbers. It's one of them things. It just 
is number zen and i threw this long left hander down i think this is the hanger straight but i could be wrong wellington again wellington I, yeah i was close enough anyway and then this long left hander you want to just brush the inside curb on both sides take a little bit of a wide line not too much and then cut back in and just power down all the way down towards cops corner now cops corner is the fastest corner on this track if you get it perfectly right a lot of drivers will take it in seventh quinn chooses eighth so uh, nice and brave from quinn i think in the race we'll see it in seventh maggots now and then beckett's is this flick left and then flick right you got a nice on the curb nice nice and tight through there for quinn now down the hangar straight correct towards the <laughs> very woeful right hander which is either go right or you end up miles off if valid in that exit curb now towards the final few corners you want to be nice and tight on these apexes because you've got to get the power down early here foot flat to the floor all the way through the final corner and across the line for a 128 flat thank you risky decent lap from uh quinn considering he's already one second clear of neon who's also set a time on the mediums a lot of drivers getting out early and getting the time on the board. Trunders on softs is slower than Quinn, but on the front row, what can his teammate do? Uh, on the mediums, on a flyer. So through turn one, I believe it's Abby. I will get it right. And now towards turn four, which is the loop, onto the Wellington Straight, which is a nice DRS straight run down towards Brooklyn's, Luffield, and... Uh, Woodcock. Hopefully, he doesn't incur any traffic. So, through Luffield, nice and tight apex. This is a wider apex on Luffield as you loop it round late apex on the power nice and early. Use the exit curb as you run through towards the old final corner onto the old start finish straight towards Cops Corner. Can be flat in qualifying. It does do a little lift, doesn't want to run too wide. Uh, when, the wider you go, the more speed you carry, but that at that point has risk of invalidation now through the s's maggots beckett's and chapel and as you can see we are running the japanese honda special livery on the red bull as codemasters has provided it with us for i believe a limited time down the hangar straight through stow risky mentions you don't want to run wide because it can invalidate now in towards veil or club veil and then the club section Round the final corner, up to the line, 28-0 is the time to beat. Only sixth, but it's five tenths that separates him and Quinn. Lawrence behind goes fastest with a 27-5, but on the soft tyres. Uh, Jake's popped third with Colin fourth. Uh, Trundles, as we mentioned, is fifth. Yuri's ahead of Gazaman on the mediums, crucially. So a few drivers doing some laps on mediums. I would probably recommend two. So do uh, an out, fast, out, fast, in kind of vibe feel the car up for two flying runs just to get the best out of the tires and uh, with the lighter car yeah gazman at yeah, the moment p7 good lap from gazman that not ideal i suppose for being that far down but he's third of the medium runners he won't be too displeased with it for his first lap quinn however on the mediums will be happy with that lap for sure yeah another driver trying to get a time in on the mediums and struggling to at the moment is our championship leader Aaron in the Mercedes he is coming now through the Wellington straight at the end of sector one 27 six is his first sector not sure what that is in comparison I'm sure we can check on TAS to see what that sector time is in comparison to a Quinn and B Lawrence because they're on two different tires could be crucial to see whether how much quicker or slower he is compared to Quinn and Gezerman on the mediums. You do have the task, by the way. I did send it to you via uh, DM, so... Did you? Oh. You said that last time. You did I definitely have sent it to you. you no, know, you said it last time, and I checked and it wasn't there, but it actually was there. Well, yeah, there it go. wasn't purple first. Purple first is currently Lawrence's with a 27.5. So what can Aaron do now? He's put a bit of life out of those tyres 
but this should be good to finish this lap. He's kept it valid. How quickly will he go across the line down the Hamilton straight? It's P2 and ahead of Quinn, but on a little bit warmer, warmer mediums. So maybe Quinn could have done another lap, which he is doing, I believe. Oh, that's the wrong. Yeah, he's gone out again, put a bit more fuel in. Quinn is going out again on the, on the same set of mediums for another run. So we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, Giggle has set a provisional time on the mediums, but currently invalid on this time. He's 29-0, but outside the top 10. So we'll start on fresh tyres anyway. Only retirement so far is NSR MTFC. And the only other two drivers that have yet set a time is Mason, who's coming through Megas and Beckett, and Liam, who's currently in the pit lane. Is, is NSR MCFC and no zero MCFC? He's just changed his name. Yes, I believe that is correct. Yeah. Ah, okay, I was very confused for all of 30 seconds there. <laughs> So, Aaron's on a cool down. I see an alpha about to start a lap, and that's Speedwire Racer. He's on the softs. As a Dutchman, he says <laughs> critically about this. Says a lot of things critically about this track. <laughs> uh, let's see what he can do through sector one on the soft tyres. His first time was set on the mediums. Uh, pretty decent for a medium time only five tenths off the quickest and only a second off the fastest on the soft so for sector one he's a tenth and a half up that's a 27 7. that is not quicker though than lawrence on his uh purple sector one now down the old finish straight towards cops hook the inside through woodcut will he go flat through cops he doesn't he does go flat but shifts to seventh that allows you to carry maybe a little bit more speed. It allows you to keep the foot down. But with the wearing on the engine and the revs being so high, could uh, lose you a little bit of straight line speed on the exit. Nice and clean through Magazine Beckett's. Three and a half tenths up at this moment through the second sector. After two sectors, now through Stowe. Sixth should shift into seventh. Invalidates on the exit and will box at the end of the lap. With, this, with that invalidation. So while uh, Yuri was uh, doing his lap and Pete was talking about that, Neon went P4, did very, very quick middle sector for Neon and uh, nearly beating the uh, the front three in that final sector. So if he can uh, shave a few tenths off the first sector, I think Neon is in for a good shout as well. Sully has then beat him by just over a tenth to go P4. I was on board with Quinn. Uh, after Yori, Quinn was on a lap and has improved significantly on his lap time, not only to jump uh, Aaron, but in the 1 minute 27.8s now on those mediums, as Aaron looks to switch to the softs for his final run. But that's a good time from Quinn, and on the front row on mediums. Could be that Mercedes and Red Bull style strategy in real life start on... A compound that lasts that little bit longer in the race at the start. Yeah, just looking at Lawrence on board with Lawrence, he has invalidated now, unfortunately, but his first sector was a 27.522, about three hundredths quicker than the fastest we've seen. So Lawrence definitely has the pace to go faster. Just needs to now see if his rivals, if the likes of Quinn and Aaron, Aaron coming out on some soft, so maybe Quinn will follow suit on the soft maybe he's going to start on the mediums but uh, we'll see who ends up where in six minutes time we will indeed a lot of drivers with invalidated lap times i see it can be tricky around here trying to find a driver who's on a lap everyone seems to be coming into the pits trunders is on an out lap on mediums i believe he set his first time on soft so he thinks he can go faster on mediums and could be the Better tyre to be on. Gazaman goes P3 on the softs with a 27.8. But 21, that 22,000 slower than Quinn on the mediums. But ahead of Aaron, his championship rival. Good lap from Gazaman again. Keeping, keeping it up there. Just keeping uh, everyone else on their toes. He's just making them all aware now. Let's just see what Aaron can do on the softs. Because Aaron... Yet to set a time on the softs. 
Quinn also yet to set a time on the softs, so uh, I'm wondering if it's going to be a shootout between these two or will they go completely alternate strategies from each other? Yeah, I'm riding on board with people and I'm not commentating over them. You're, you're reading your own thing. I'm just on board with them because I'm on a flyer. And then they just invalidate at the exit of Stowe. I think that might be the curse. But let's have a look at the points tier constructor standings. Mercedes are well clear at the moment. 176 for them. Red Bull in second for 93. So the gap, 83 points. Can be doable with four rounds to go, including this one. It can be doable, but it's going to be difficult for Red Bull. Haas are in third on 85, so could snatch second uh, if the stars align and Haas can perform as well as it did. I believe it was in Singapore. Alpine in fourth, 57 points, with Williams in fifth on 47. McLaren sixth, 36. Alpha Tauri on 34 points in 7th, Alfa Romeo with 28, Ferrari down in 9th, 25, and Aston Martin at the bottom, at the back, with 19. I believe the um, good showing from the Haas drivers was uh, France, was it not, I believe, with the interchangeable conditions towards the end of the race? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was uh, a good race can't quite remember but so Haas are good at scoring some good points collectively yeah it could have so. been Haas. yeah it could have been that race yeah I just know that Rage Man scored a podium not f before last week was every week in a row after the first race I know that there was a Haas on the podium <laughs> that was confirmed consistent yeah so Yuri's on a flyer currently down in 13th however what a close grid what a close grip. 13th to 1st is less than a second. And he's got some time to find. And he's flying on this lap so far in the 1st and 2nd sector. Through Stowe, he did run wide last time, so doesn't want to repeat that. Keeps it within the boundaries and should be clean for the rest of this lap. Through Vail, nice and tight on the apex. And then club around the final corner and up to the line. This is going to be a major improvement from Yuri. And what a time from him. He's put it on provisional pole with a 127.5 with nearly a second improvement from the mediums to the softs. Yeah, good time for Yuri. That last sector is uh, about a tenth and a half, two tenths quicker than everybody else's. His uh, second sector is very near equal to the best we've seen. Uh, first sector could do with a little bit of a uh, little bit of work. A few tenths maybe shaved off there, but all in all, it's a uh, good lap to... Uh, Put himself ahead of Lawrence, and now we do see Quinn come out on a set of softs. So this is going to be uh, the all-important laps then for the likes of Quinn, Gazaman, and Aaron. Maybe see a Ferrari of Osoli sneak in there too. Yeah, we're on board with Osoli. But rivalries this week, interestingly, are between Lawrence and uh, NSR MCFC. So sort of drive last week from MCFC to move himself up in the standings leaderboard and combined with the DNF from Lawrence both are now next to each other in the standings uh, MCFC took a while to really find his feet in this tier and now the results are starting to come in does he believe it was a rare one-off for Lawrence or is this a sign of the rest of the season could be Lawrence was asked does last week's result indicate a sign of things to come or was it fortunate one given the nature of the race last week I wonder if we have any responses only a minute and a half left in this session. And Sully looks to be flying at the moment. He's going to be one of the first to finish a lap. As Mason slots himself on the second row. Big John is on the second row in the McLaren at the moment with a 27-7. But I believe a lot of drivers are yet to improve. And are on their final runs as we speak. Sully to the line. Where is this going to put him? Up to now. Third place on the second row. But won't be challenging him from pole unless he can find... Uh, two more tents with, if he goes on another one, but I don't think he will be. Uh, who's next? There's a Red Bull starting, which is Gazaman. Trundas has just started a lap as well. Everyone's going to be...